Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo, and today we're going to talk about GIF images in email signatures and everything you need to know about them. First of all, let's take a look at the obvious. They look awesome, they look fancy, they look extravagant or great, whatever you want to call it, they look good. And because of this, uh, they've got a higher click-through rating on email signature marketing campaigns. There's been many uh, articles that have been published online that state that if you have a GIF image in your email signature, you get a higher click-through rating, and that's understandable. Now, let's talk about some of the disadvantages of having a GIF image in your email signature. The first one is that it increases the size of your email signature. So if you have a GIF image with a few frames in it, like you normally would, it will increase the size of your email signature, and that's not only bad for your mail server, but also bad for your recipient's mail server. It also uses more bandwidth, and what that means is that every time you use that email signature and you send it out from your corporate mail uh, server, it'll use more bandwidth to send that email out. On the other side, it'll also use more bandwidth for your recipient to receive that email as well. It's also been mentioned a couple of times online that uh, it also increases the spam rating of your emails. Some server administrators prefer to make a filter for uh, GIF images uh, on incoming emails and mark their spam uh, rating as higher, and that's always a bad thing. Antivirus scans will take longer, so the bigger your email is, the longer antivirus scans take, and the longer it takes to deliver your mail to the recipient. It's also not really a scalable solution, and what that means is that you would have to take, let's say, you know, 10 or 15 good photographs of each staff member and then compile them into a GIF image, which can be a bit resource draining and it can be a little bit difficult if you've got a larger organisation. It can also look quite immature, so depending on who your customers are and who you're sending emails to, they might find it a little bit immature, so you might want to watch out for that as well. It's a repetitive thing, so it's all it's it's constantly flashing. So if you if I get an email with a GIF image in it and it's constantly flashing at me, I find it a little bit repetitive and it gets a little bit annoying at times. And last but not least, it's actually quite distracting. Have you ever tried reading an email with a GIF image inside it? It can get quite distracting while you're trying to read the email. You've got this thing flashing there, and yeah, it, it, depending on who, what sort of person you are, if you find those sort of things distracting or not, I certainly do and it's, it can get quite annoying. Now, it's important to note that Outlook 2007 to 2019 doesn't actually support GIF images in the e in emails. So if you send a GIF image in your, if you have a GIF image in your email signature and you send it to someone that's using Outlook 2007 to 2019, all that would happen is it will actually show the first frame of the GIF image and depending on what the frame is, it could look, make, might make the email signature look completely wrong and that's a really bad thing obviously. So giving you all these disadvantages, um, I, I personally think it's probably not a good idea to use GIF images in business-based emails just because there's far too many disadvantages compared to the advantages. So the disadvantages, in my mind, outweigh the advantages. So hopefully that's covered a few of the questions you had about GIF images and email signatures. And if you haven't already, give our email signature generator a try. You can create awesome email signatures in it completely free and we've got tons of templates you can choose from. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.